This is Rob, and he's about to get blown up on the Death Star. Wait, what? But before we get to that, we're gonna travel back in time to follow Rob and his adventures all over the galaxy. So let's begin. For our first build, I'm making Rob's childhood house. This house is on the planet of Naboo. Naboo has a lot of green, so I made the floor using these light green plates. Now I'm gonna build Rob's house. First I built the floor, and then the walls. Next I'm gonna add furniture inside. I put a bed on the left side, and a table on the right. Then I put a roof on top. And now I'm gonna decorate the floor. First I build a stone pathway using these round tiles. And finally I'm gonna add some plants to the house. And now our first build is complete. This is Rob. So. And Rob is living peacefully in this house together with his parents, who work for the Empire. One day while Rob's just sleeping, he gets woken up by a bunch of gunshots coming from outside. So he quickly goes to check it out, and finds his dead parents. Both of them got shot by these rebel scum, who then went to finish off Rob as well. But before they could do that... A stormtrooper squad arrived and saved Rob. After seeing that his parents were dead, the captain decided to take Rob with him to the Death Star, to begin his training as a stormtrooper. So for our next build we're building the Death Star. First I made the floor using grey plates, and then I tiled it off using dark grey tiles. Next I built a wall with two holes in it, which our minifigures can use to get in the rooms. Then I split the room in two, so now we have two rooms. The first room's gonna be the bedroom. I started off by tiling off the floor. Then I built the most uncomfortable bed in the galaxy. Now our stormtroopers have a place to sleep. The next room is going to be the dinner room. I built the floor using 10 tiles. And then I added a dinner table in the center. So now our stormtroopers can eat delicious glazies. Finally I added these doors. And now our Death Star build is complete. So after a few years of training, Rob has become a cadet, and today he takes his last test to finally become a stormtrooper. So Rob and the squadmates are now gonna take the test. This is Captain Bob, and he's here to decide if the cadets passed. But before they begin, they need a new cut. So Bob gave them all the bus cut. Okay, done. Uh, I was already bald. Shut up, bot bit. Now our cadets are ready for the test. For the first test, we're gonna be testing the aim of the cadets. And as target, Bob brought this volunteer. Help me. Ready? Fire! Eh, good enough. Wait, so we get to go home? Nah. <gasps> now for our next test, our cadets have to stand still and look menacing. 3, 2, 1, go. Baby, you got something to you know. Okay, that's enough, they passed. Now Rob and his squad are officially stormtroopers. And they're ready for their first mission. But first they're gonna need some rest. But it looks like I haven't built enough beds for them. So I guess two of you have to sleep on the ground. Huh? Where did they go? Hey yo! For the first mission, Rob and his squad are sent to the planet Tatooine. So I started this build by making the floor out of sand. Then I built a stone fort for the rebels. On the roof there is space for a rebel, which he can use to fire down at the heroic stormtroopers. The ground still looks a bit empty. So I built these cover points and added it to the build. And then finally I added a bit more texture to the sand. And the build is complete. Inside the fort, the rebel traitors are holding a prisoner. So Rob and his squad are sent to rescue him. One day while the rebels are just chilling, they suddenly get attacked by a bunch of stormtroopers, who immediately open fire. One of the rebels has a machine gun, and starts spraying down at our squad. But luckily, Captain Bob manages to take him out. The last rebel then threatens to execute the hostage. So Captain Bob puts down his gun, and orders Rob to do the same. But Rob's locked in, so he decides to take the shot. 
Bob and Rob have now successfully freed the hostage. Then they ask the prisoner where he got captured. And he tells them he found the location of a Jedi. So now they have a new mission, to kill the Jedi. For the next part we're building Mustafar. First I made a base out of black plates, and then I built a hill on top of it. I filled the hill with random bricks that I could find. And then covered it using black plates. Then I added more rocks around and on top of the hill. Now we're finished with the hill, but we still need to add lava to this build. First I made the edge using transparent orange pieces. And then I added the lava to it. And now a Mustafar build is complete. Last mission Rob lost half his squad, so before they can go on this mission, they need to find some replacements. That should be enough. So Rob and his squad follow the map they found, and arrive on Mustafar. Here they quickly run into the Jedi. Captain Bob tells the Jedi to surrender. But the Jedi has a different plan. Out of nowhere, the squad gets ambushed by more Jedi, who kill everyone in the group. Even Captain Bob. Nah, who let Bro cook? Then the Jedi turn to finish off Rob. But before the Jedi can strike, he hears something. While the Jedi is distracted, Rob raises his gun and shoots him in the face. The other Jedi then turns to Rob and goes to finish him off. But then... After seeing the others die, the last Jedi decides to flee. Lord Vader was very impressed by how Rob took out a Jedi. So now he tasks Rob with finding the last Jedi and destroying him. It will be done my lord. For the next build we're traveling to the snowy planet half. I built the base using white plates. Then I added two big crates. These crates are filled with a bunch of food. And finally I added a control panel. And our half build is complete. After Mustafar, Rob buried his captain and promised that he would avenge him. So Rob quickly assembled a squad. This squad is going to half, so they put on their snowtrooper armor. On half, the rebels have an outpost. They use this outpost to give rations to the locals. But then Rob's squad arrives. They attack the outpost from the left side. But when their backs are turned, Rob comes from behind. Rob has easily defeated the rebels. After the battle, Rob runs up the locals and asks them about the Jedi. But the locals tell Rob they haven't seen him. This makes Rob crash out and he starts executing the locals. But then out of nowhere the Jedi appears. So Rob wastes no time and shoots him. Oh crap. Rob then goes to the body and collects the lightsaber. Then Rob travels all the way back to Mustafar and presents the lightsaber to Lord Vader. Lord Vader was very impressed and decides to take Rob with him on his next mission. The next mission takes place on the 10th and 4th, so I bought the Lego set. And the build is complete. On board the Tenta 4 is the traitor Princess Leia, and she is defended by a bunch of rebel scum. For this mission, Rob is ordered to capture the princess alive. Rob and his men quickly take out the rebels. But the princess isn't gonna go down without a fight. But eventually, Rob manages to subdue her. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. Then he brings her before Vader, and he puts her in chains. And now for the final build, I'm building a prison for Princess Leia. We see this prison in A New Hope, on board the Death Star. I built the prison using black bricks. Inside the cells I only put a bench. Now our prisoners have a place to sit. Yeah, that's better than you deserve, you rebel scum. 
Next, I'm tiling off the prison cells. To prevent our prisoners from escaping, I added these lasers. In the middle, I added this control panel, which you can use to turn off the lasers. And now finally, I'm tiling off the rest of the floor. And now, our final build is complete. After capturing the princess, Rob escorts her to her cell. Vader then orders Rob to guard the princess at any cost. So Rob does as he's told and stands guard for hours and hours and hours. Then suddenly a stormtrooper arrives. Rob gets suspicious and orders the stormtrooper to remove his helmet. I'm Luke Skywalker. Wait, who? I said Luke Skywalker. Nah, who asked? <laughs> the rebels took out Rob and then stole the princess. After a few hours, Rob finally woke up and noticed that the princess was gone. For the first time in his life, Rob failed his mission. But Bro is not gonna let it slide. So he went to the other prisoner and asked him where they had gone. Uh, they're blowing this place up. Well, son of a bitch. Stormtrooper. No. 